looking for a mirror And I think I found it in your eyes She's been looking for a reason What's up guys? I'm a huge fan of lighting and today I have a very special video This is the brand new lighting set from Govi It's called the Govi Glide Wall Light I'm so excited to try it out This is actually a tube light that has a rainbow color effect in there It uses RGB IC IC standing for independent control I reviewed a lot of light strips, light bulbs that all have a single color capability in them but this one has a multicolor capability as part of its chipset. As you can see from the front of the box, there's seven interchangeable pieces which I'm going to set up and showcase to you guys how it looks. And then I'm also going to use an app to control the different lighting effects. And one of the key things that I really like about it and one of the standout features is that you can also use voice control to turn on the lights and set some scenes and all kinds of things which I'm going to showcase in this video today. As you can see behind me, I have a TV and I have a couple of floor lamps just on the corners of the walls. I'm going to be setting this up just below the TV on top of my TV stand. I already have some lighting set up there, but I'm missing a piece of lighting underneath the TV between the TV and the light stand. So let me go ahead and turn that on just so you guys can see where there's a gap. Alexa, turn on the open plan lights. There you can see it looks beautiful and I'm a huge lighting fan like I mentioned. Let's go ahead, open this up, set it up, play around with it and see what it can do. So inside the box, you have six connecting pieces. So with the tube lights, you have double-sided Velcro tapes on each one. And each one of them has a pin and a connector for putting each of these on either side. And then you have a rounded corner connector. So if you wanted to have this with three pieces long, go round and then three more pieces down, then you can do that like a nice L shape, or you can do it however you like with the combination of the six pieces. If you didn't even want to use this, you can essentially just have all six in one straight line. You also have a power adapter. At the time of this video, it's only available in the US, but it will be available in all other markets. So if you do buy this and use it outside of the US, then you might need to use an adapter. Then you also have a control box as well, which you need to plug the adapter into. There's a quick start guide and a user manual as well, just to get up and running. One thing that is really recommended is to just connect it while you're setting it up on the table before you put it up on the wall in its permanent position. Just to make sure everything works because once you do put the tape and connect it to the wall, it might be a little bit more difficult to take it back off. So let me go ahead and put these pieces together just to test out to see if it actually works as I expect. So all you have to do is just slot the pin into the connector. Just need to put a little bit of force with your wrist. You'll hear it click into place. There we go. So I've done four pieces uh, horizontally and then two pieces vertically down. So this is the shape that I will be testing it at. So let me go ahead and connect the end, which also has a connector there. And then you just plug this in, put this into the wall socket and you're ready to test it out so let me go ahead and plug it in okay now i'm going to go ahead and switch this on so it should light up the entire tube there we go perfect now you just need to make sure when you are connecting these put a little bit of pressure with your wrist when you are connecting them so that there's two connectors that clip into place once you've done that with all of them, including the corner piece, you should be ready to go. Now at this stage, I'm now going to set this up just above my TV stand right there at the back. But to take them off, you need to be careful and not to break it. So just be careful when you're just unclipping them at each of the ends. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll run through the application and set it up on the wall behind me. So as you guys can see, I've now connected it against the wall just above my TV stand there. I'm gonna connect it to my app, but let me go ahead and turn it on and I will set this up along with you guys for the first time and let's see how easy it is. So let's wait for this to get enabled. There we go, how cool does that look? So, 
The first thing you need to do is get the GoV Home app from the App Store. When you go in here, you have to search for this as it's not currently there in the menu. H6062 Glide Wall Light. Let's select this. And if you don't have an account, you have to just quickly register. So let me go ahead and do that quickly. As you can see, it's picked up there at the top. So you select this, it will connect. Give it a name. So I will call it Glide. And there you go, it's pretty much there. So now you, you can use this to set various different scenes. I think there's more than 28 different scenes that you can set it at. I have a lot of Philips Hue lighting in the house as well and the scene modes are one of the key things that I really use on it. The lights that are in the corner of the room and behind the TV is a mode called Sunset. It's got very nice warm ambient atmosphere to it. This is something that you can do with the Govi Glide wall light as well. So as you can see here from the app, you've got effects lab. Let's go in there and see what's inside. You can choose from basic colors. There's pretty much any colors you want from the RGB scale. You can go to ingredients. So let's see this cucumber one. There you go. You can choose the different colors of the green in that cucumber. Let's go to bread, tomato. You can see there's pretty much endless possibilities really. You can choose various different things here. Now, what I'd like to do is try out the multicolor lights on this as well, because I've got a lot of lights that I can change to single colors and they look great, but I wanna have this rainbow effect, which I think is just so unique. So let me go ahead and find that. So when you scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's an option there for gradient. You toggle that on, and then you can start selecting different areas on this to be different colors. So I've selected the first couple of tubes to have a bit of green in there. Now, if I select the middle two and maybe do that as yellow, and then let's say something along the bottom, I'll do that as purple. That's kind of the gradient scale that you can create. And I think that's just really cool. And if you just wanted to save this as a preset, then you can also do that as well. So if you go to the bottom and do save color, you can do save the entire effects by selecting all the colors and that whole tube, click on confirm. And that's saved right there at the bottom. So this is a really cool way to play around with the different color options on there. Of course, you can also adjust the brightness. So right now it's at 100%. You can see the slider there, you bring that down a little bit. It goes very dim and it's a little bit easier on the eyes, especially if you're watching TV anywhere near the lights. There's also a timer option, so you can set this to be on and off automatically, which I think is great. You can also, this is something unique as well. If I go to music, it can actually sync to the music that you have, and you can play it from inside here. You can play it from the background. But right now, it's actually picking up my voice as the music. It's picking up the audio from the room. So if the TV was on, this would bounce to the video. And that's pretty cool. I'm here in this room by myself and it's basically picking up my audio waves. So I'm really impressed with that. And the response rate of how quickly it picks me up is amazing. Now that is really cool. And you can also change the levels of the music sync as well. So you see on the app here, it's currently energetic. You can go to rhythm, strike. It will meet in the middle. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. First time I'm seeing this. Vibrate, hopping, hello, testing. This is the hopping audio. And I really like all of the different colors that just pop up. And the last one, bounce. So this one is bouncing from one side while the other one is coming in. If I continuously speak, then it will obviously fill up the entire bar. If you have something playing on the TV, then obviously that is something cool as well. There's so many really good things on this app. It's just amazing like how it works straight out of the box. I had no problems. It was one of the easiest light setups I've had. I've fiddled around with Philips Hue lightings in the past and it's been very tricky. Now, if you go to the scene tab, there's plenty of different scenes that you can play around with. This is the one I was mentioning. I think there's around 28 of them and whatever type of ambient type of lighting you need, you probably find it in here. So right now it's currently on ocean blue. If I go to forest, it's a nice little green. You've got a gradient of all of the different tree colors. Sunset glow, this is one of my favorite ones. 
It's got a nice orange, red, ambient kind of warm colors to it. Rainbow, obviously this is the one that everyone would probably try to play around with in the beginning because you want to get as many colors as possible into these tubes. And let's go through some of these. Meteor, that's quite an interesting one. So you've got a little meteor shower there. Aurora Borealis, so the Northern Lights, that looks pretty cool. You can cycle through loads of these. There's life, there's emotion, festival, there's funny ones. So pretty much endless possibilities. You can even create your own. There's a DIY tab here. If you wanted to automatically change the lighting according to your own custom effect settings, then you can also do that and create the shortcuts in here. So I'm super impressed with this. Let's go ahead, turn off the lights and see the full capabilities of how this looks when all the lights are off. One other thing I wanted to mention as well to you guys, if you don't have your phone with you, you can also control this via voice control. So I've just binded it with the Amazon Alexa app as well. So now I can turn it on and off using my voice. Alexa, turn off the glide light. There you go. You can turn it on and off and change the brightness levels. If you wanted to change the scene or any of the settings or go into music mode, you'll have to do that via the app but this is exactly the same as any of the other smart lighting that I have in the house. And it was very easy to do. Just click on the Amazon Alexa settings in the GoV Home app and it works out of the box. Alexa, turn on the glide light to 100%. There you go, super bright, super responsive, and I'm very impressed with this. Now this comes in at just under $100, which I think is an absolute bargain for this type of capability. The amount of money I've spent on these very basic Philips Hue lights, like the light strips, they're way more expensive than this and have less functionality. So I'm quite amazed at what this can do for that price point. Even better, I've got a discount code for you guys if you just wanted to get this even more cheaper. So go ahead and check out the discount code and the link in the description below. If you like this review, if you like these lights, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. I'm a huge fan of lighting and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a lot of cool lighting videos in the near future. Plus I have new videos out every week for all things tech. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those ones and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.